What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the real Jossie of The Distorted Theorist and today we got the final trailer for Creed 3. Now, if you want to get some discussion, do some theories before we get into the trailer reaction, you know we got to talk about from where we've been to where we are now and how we got here with Creed or Adonis Johnson as we first started. But before I get into all that, as always, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button we do appreciate it definitely leave me some comments down below what your experience is with rocky and with creed now moving forward um this franchise i guess not the rocky franchise but the creed side of the franchise started with um one of our favorite producers these days in the marvel universe which is ryan coogler he rebooted it seeing and getting away from rocky a little bit and moving on to the apollo creed's son type thing adonis johnson at the time of course in the first one we know he picked up the mantle as creed because he really had to come to terms with who his family was and the namesake that comes with it um but then we move into the second one. The first one was great. Loved it. I loved everything about it. I love Rocky. Then I, when, I, when they were doing Creed, I was a little bit like, is it going to be good? Are they going to lean too much on it? But it turned out to be a great, great movie, in my opinion. Um, and they made him lose, which is interesting. Uh, you know, a movie like that, you think he's going to come out on top. But then we get Creed 2. Now, I'll be the first one to admit... Creed 2 didn't do it for me as well as Creed 1. I don't know... I mean, with Creed, you're already leaning on the Rocky heritage and the lore. Then you're also mixing in Apollo Creed's heritage, which is Adonis. So you're only capitalizing on two known characters. Then in the second one, they threw in Ivan Drago and his son Victor Drago. It, it was almost too much, you know, uh, lore, too much uh, nostalgia, we'll say. Um, but it was still it was still a great movie, don't get me wrong. It just didn't hit as good, no pun intended. Um but now we're going into the third one, and we're getting a little, you know, one of the old tropes, your past always comes back to hunt you, and even Adonis has a past. And we are getting two titans in this movie from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Speaking of Brian Coogler, um, we, who did, Wakan, who, sorry, who did uh, Black Panther movies, of course, produced them. So we are getting the familiar face of Killmonger which was played by Michael B. Jordan, who is uh, Adonis Creed. But we're also getting a newcomer to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and who's about to make an impact tomorrow, an Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania debut that is Jonathan Majors, who is playing Kang. So we're about to see these two Marvel Cinematic Titans come together off of Marvel Cinematic Universe and they're going to duke it out. And, you know, listen, you... I'll be the first to say, did you see those two men? Have you seen Michael B. Jordan and John the Majors ripped for this movie? It's about to be a slugfest, guys, but without further ado, let's get into the trailer. Let's see what's going on. The Creed 3 final trailer before the movie begins right now. Let's get it. Oh, okay. There's some color on the set of it. He's going to be dealing with some demons, I think. That looks bad. They got the stadium packed for this one. Man, Jay Majors is huge. It was like brothers. Someone did someone dirty, and you know it, too. came back. The past came back, too. There it is. Like I said, the past is coming to hunt. Damien had your back. No friends in the industry. Oh, we got a bit of Drake. That's not what he's doing now. My brother's been my brother's name. They no kidding me up that. You can feel those punches, man. See the sweat and everything. And a fraud. Try spending half your life in a cell. Watching somebody else live your life. I had to draw the lot. I'm just getting started, little brother. I had to draw the lot with two brothers and my enemies. I'm coming for it all. Yes, sir. It's not going to stop. Is he going to get it, though? The one Tessa the Thompson. Creed, you're the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Three years ago. It's been a minute since you've been out in these streets. Oh, when I there he is, Mr. Victor. Boxing, I walked away with some unfinished business. Mm, mm. You see that man right there? Get that ring rust off. You remember him? Hey, hey. No friends. The karate kid shit. There's no enemy? 
Pass. Don't let him destroy Bro. everything you've found. They're about to fight on the grandest everything stage of them built. all. What a cast, what man. Beauty. I need you to start fighting. Fuck. Fuck. Story by Ron Coogler. So, I mean, he's still involved. He, he might not be... F All right. Listen. For those of you also who don't... Amazing trailer, by the way. Uh, for, for those of you who don't know... Um, Michael B. Jordan actually had a huge hand in, I think I'm going to say directing, um, this film. He, he really wanted the punches to come through. That is almost like you can feel the hit, you know what I mean? And you just seen that scene right then where they're in the ring. Looks like it's going to be the climax fight of the movie type thing where they're in the, in the uh, football stadium. Um, he gets hit in the gut check um, and it's, like, it's almost like the back muscles tense up and like the punch actually goes through something like some Dragon Ball Z shit or something uh, for those of you who get the reference guys uh, look uh, watching this trailer it looks like a lot of work went in went into sorry um to really capture what goes on in a physical boxing ring as if we not just an audience you're you're the ref you you're one of the competitors seeing what's going on right now um, and I really hope that shines through because from what I've seen from previous, uh, there was like a behind the scenes of Creed came out there about a month ago or so with Michael B. Jordan uh, shedding some light on what he did in this film. Um, it looks like they really, they just want the passion. They, they want the passion. They want to do true to the series. Now, unfortunately, um, switching gears again, one of the things we're not going to see in this film, apparently, is Sylvester Stallone's Rocky, which you know what? I was mad at first because I was like, it, it, it's, it's all about that, like I said, lore, it's about the history, it's about the franchise, but, you know, letting Sylvester and Rocky take a step back from the forefront it might be an opportunity to let uh, Michael B. Jordan, let Adonis Creed and Jonathan Majors really shine without having to lean on the preconceived notion of this is a Rocky film. It's now a Creed film. It is now a creed franchise and we can distinguish between the two which i think is pretty cool um now i do know as well having said that uh change a uh, little more information uh, i do know that sylvester stallone did have a hand i think in the storyboard of this one so i he has his hands in it it's just we're not getting his star star power in the movie which is great you know we're letting some uh, some younger actors step in or some younger actresses step in and let them have their moment and maybe take this i don't know are we going to get a creed four five six like rocky did to us or you know uh, i don't know time will tell but you know what maybe a trilogy is the way to go with this one and maybe maybe there's another story to tell maybe it's not rocky maybe it's not creed anymore it's someone totally different um i'm excited and we're only days away uh, weeks away so creed <laughs> creed is coming for your ass guys thank you so much for joining me for the trailer reaction the final trailer reaction for creed 3 coming out soon uh as always if you enjoy the content you enjoy the discussion if you enjoy the theories if you could hit that subscribe button hit that like button we do appreciate it and we are minutes moments months subscribers away from four k and we would appreciate if you help us get there and with that guys i am the real jossie of the distorted theirs and like we always say around here keep it real